Judges 17, 4 through 5 says, And when he returned the silver to his mother, his mother took the 200 pieces of silver and gave them to the silversmith, who made them into a graven image and a molded image, and they were in the house of Micah. And the man Micah had a shrine, and he made an ephod and a household items, and he consecrated one of his sons that he might become his priest. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this 90-day reading plan, today's reading is Judges 16, 28 through 18, 13. I encourage you to read that passage. Well, Micah's story is one that should bring grief and warning. It should bring grief because someone was innovative and created his own religion out of his own religious culture. And you should bring a warning that we can do exactly the same thing if we're not careful. Now, it's easy to see the faults in someone's denominations or in denominations in general. Martin Luther was clear when he posted his 95 theses on the door of Wittenberg that he saw there was a problem with the Catholic Church and its implementation of its theology it believed. But when he moved out of the Catholic Church, others who also recognized problems within the Church felt that they were justified as well, and they left. Unfortunately, they did not leave to join Luther, rather they began their own denominations. Well, the same kind of thinking continues today, and if someone thinks that they can worship God better in their way, they convince others and they begin their own church. They may stay within their own denomination, but they still have developed something very new. And this is why we have hundreds of different types of Baptists and thousands of different types of denominations across the world. Each person is, do is doing his own thing. Now, that's not to say that we should pass what we sit by and let people lead us down the path of heresy, but we must stay within our confines of historical Christianity and the scriptures. It is not our right to begin something new. It is our task to repent and to bring others to repentance. It is only by repentance that we can change and the church change as well. well as Americans, we have a culture that allows us and even encourages us to do our own thing. And that's a wonderful thing in business, but it's a terrible thing when it comes to our relationship with Christ. Ultimately, things change so dramatically that we've made our own religion.